Well, in, nine, in 1998, uh, at the ISIT, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of information theory in this very room. And, um, you know, man, many of you who are here today will be lucky enough to celebrate the 100th anniversary of information theory. And uh, you won't be able to tell your students that you met Claude Shannon but you will be able to tell them that you met Tom Cover. Um, in, uh, in 95, um, I was uh, charged with uh, the task of introducing all the previous Shannon lectures because at that point we changed the format and this became the Claude Shannon Award. And uh, I gave a very brief introduction to, uh, to every one of them some of the people who have spoken before today. And uh, what I said for Tom was, uh, information theory without him would be like opera without Mozart. And, um, you know, he, as, as many uh, of, of the previous speakers have said, uh, he was such a towering figure in our field. Uh, his, his work has really shaped the agenda of what we do uh, for many years, not just his papers, but also uh, the way he explains uh, his things in his book, With Joy. Um, he, as, a, as an advisor, I mean, you've seen, you've seen the tributes. Uh, as a speaker, he was such an engaging speaker. Uh, his timing was impeccable, and uh, he would use his hands, uh, and uh, he, at, the, at the apex of his talks, he would gasp for air. He would do something like that. It was really spectacular. It was really spectacular. And, um, you know, on a personal level, um, there was nobody else who I, I really enjoyed meeting at conferences like Tom, and uh, we met in so many places, in so many faraway places, and had so many nice bottles of wine together. Um, and, uh, you know, his, uh, he had this love for not just his students, his family, but for everyone in the community. He would al always say, very nice things about people, about his colleagues, about people in, in other places. His humor, of course, was, uh, as everybody has said, legendary. In fact, uh, on, on Saturday night, we, we were having dinner with Karen and Gordon and reminiscing some of his jokes. So uh, one of, uh, as, as just an, another example, he, he said, you know, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you cannot pick your friend's nose. <laughs> so, um, just, uh, just, uh, just the week before he died, he was supposed to come to Princeton uh, and uh, a few weeks later, he and I were supposed to uh, give a talk together in, uh, in the B David Blackwell Memorial on David Black Blackwell's contributions to information theory. So he, uh, yeah, just a few days before he died, he dictated a, a few, uh, a message for me uh, to Mike Davis, to his friend Mike. And, um, you know, he was telling me First of all, that he couldn't come to Princeton, and then that, you know, some of the things that uh, he thought we should include in the, in the talk, but he was pretty sure that he was not going to be able to, to come to Washington to give the talk. And then I, uh, I responded, it was a Sunday night, and, uh, and I said, Tom, you must be so happy. I hope you, you heard that t Tiger Woods uh, won today, finally, because Tiger went through a really dry spell. And Tom was a huge fan of, of Tiger. He was a huge fan of sports in general. We would talk so much about so many different things. Um, uh, when Barcelona played the last Champions League final, uh, he sent me an email, so good luck today in the final, 
And I said, Tom, it's two hours away. I'm already, you know, I already need to take a volume. And he responds and says, hey, no performance enhancing drugs, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, that was a Sunday night and Tom died the following, the following day. So he never got to see my message. Well, um, Coverfest uh, in, uh, in 2008 uh, was a very special event, and I think it provided him with a renewed impetus to continue doing research. And, um, you know, his last paper was in the last ISIT in St. Petersburg. So um, what I did there was I gave this uh, presentation across Covers Universe, and um, and then Abbas asked me to, to give it today in a somewhat more compressed format. So I apologize in advance to uh, all of you who are not going to be represented uh, here, but it's not, it's just because uh, I wanted to make it more thematically uh, relevant to, to the crowd uh, in, in the ISIT symposium. It's organized according to themes, not chronologically, and, um, and you're not going to see any year uh, on this presentation, but what you're going to do is hear music that appeared in the same year as the paper appeared. Okay, so music, we always associate music with um, a certain time, but I think the, mu the music that we love the most is timeless. And, uh, and I think Tom's papers are timeless. And every time we read one of them, I think he's still alive. <laughs> 